Oh, this must look changed. <laughs> uh, ben Body Arch back, and I'm talking the story. Uh, one of the the story I interviewed is uh, 67. Uh, she, you know, doing the uh, Ben Body Arch back. It's very simple movement. Is is curve front and back. So I have some other tapes. To, I recorded a lot of tapes to explain that. But in this tape, in particular tape, I want to emphasize that. Uh, when you're doing the curling, is when you're more advanced. At the beginner, uh, you just do bend and back, but it's not just from the hands, from uh, when you see the tape itself, from the coccyx and then uh, front and back, and from your dante and front and back. But now in this day, I want you to involve with your tongues. Oh, your tongue is, is a piece of muscle, but it's involved with the rhythm release of song going down and up. Now, it's very difficult. <laughs> so, uh, so I just mentioned that for those more advanced uh, people and then people want to do more. Just, if you want to do it, you want as well to do the whole thing, you know, to involve every part of your body. So the story, she, <laughs> she was paralyzed and uh, somebody told her about uh, and she was able to start with her belief that she could able to do it and then gradually doing it every day. Now, uh, I emphasize every day, Qigong is not something <laughs> like taking a pill that <laughs> uh, is not. It is uh, continuous, everyday thing, continuous uh, doing it. So some of you are, at the beginning is difficult but uh, very stiff, but if you do it every day, keep on doing it, and of course using the six direction tape. It's uh, on U-tape uh, with the rhythm, it's, uh, uh, you can find it free, and then uh, the rhythm to doing it, then you, you can do it. So you must use some kind of rhythm, all right? So I, I let you see my older tape, and then uh, you practice the band body arch pad, will give you a lot of energy, a lot of healing. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, this is Master Luke Chen. <laughs> so, uh, so we, we're going to do the band body arch back uh, with the chorus that of course uh, use six direction. Uh, now remember, uh, uh, you can either sitting down to do it or standing up to do the band body arch back uh, with the six direction. And I was going to demonstrate with standing up. Uh, the band body arch back actually is very very important uh, uh, gong is basically our body according to uh, Qigong and Chinese medicine uh, from the, the feet going up the bladder meridians and <laughs> uh, the kidney meridians going up through the body uh, from the feet to through your body and then the heart and lungs going through your heart and lungs the meridians so when you move uh, move up and down like this is actually uh, using the uh, <laughs> the macroscopic and microscopic circle but this one is just uh, uh, we don't need to pay attention to that but however that's what exactly we've been doing now when you're going down so typically it's just uh, uh, you need to uh, bend your knees slightly it's not your knee is not locked your knees bend slightly before you're doing it and then uh, tuck in the coccyx slightly when you're going down when you're going up <laughs> most people without the internal training the advance they immediately think the hands think the hands going down and up it is not the how far your hand uh, or even the elbow can touch the the floor it, it's not what we uh, going after what we're going after is to uh, uh, to uh, to uh, bend your uh, the skeletons, yeah. uh, neck skeleton, the, the C7, 1 to 7, and then the thoracic, uh, 1 to 12, and then the uh, 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 the lumbar, the last uh, five, and then you, one by one, you, you, you need to uh, bend it slightly, and then curl up like this, 
And then, uh, but instead of just thinking that the mind is so important, instead of thinking your hands touching the floor, <laughs> no, you, you need to start to think of coccyx, start from there, you, you the, uh, the sacrum, and then uh, the lumbar, uh, one, two, three, five, and then the thoracic, and then the head, uh, you know, the uh, C7, six, five, six, uh, you know, to one. When you're going up again, you're doing the same thing from coccyx up, because that's the, uh, uh, the lumbar vertebrae is the, where the, the source muscle, that's what the lower dantian, the power come from there. But the middle dantian is very important, uh, you know, the diaphragm, above your diaphragm, and then in the back, uh, T, uh, yeah, uh, 1 to 12 there, as well as from 5, 6, 7 there, this the, the middle dantian, the, the muscle there, you need to turn that, use your imagination to turn. And then the tongue. The, the bottom of your tongue is touched to go high bone. You need to turn that also. That this is three dantian. We said uh, those muscles associated with that. And then, uh, it, so when you're going down, when you move head up, you need to use your tongue. So the tongue is involved. So you turn your tongue. Now, of course, we have some other gongs. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, the tongue gong, you have to move the tongue. The tongue is very, very important part of the bent body arch back because uh, if your head just drop like this, that means <laughs> very quickly the C1 to C57 just, you know, uh, disappears uh, very quickly. But you need to rotate your tongue so one by one. Uh, now, a lot of people have headache and a lot of other illnesses, coldness. Uh, dizziness is many things happen because C C1 to C7 are kind of stuck. But if you use the tongue, when your tongue, the the hoi bone, you know, and then that attached to the back. But if you turn your tongue, to rotate your tongue, and then you can release that those pressure uh, build up in the uh, C1 to C7 there, uh, uh, and then and the headache disappear, the, the dizziness disappear. Many good things happen if you use your tongue. So then, <laughs> okay. So when you going down there, uh, uh, the uh, the neck. Uh, so uh, the lumbar vertebrae one by one, and then when you go to the neck, use your tongue at the same time, all of them at the same time. The tongue, and then the middle down there. When you move the hands. The middle dantian, the back is involved. So it's not just a... So basically what we're saying, uh, is, uh, it's not confused at all if you step by step going through different program in a, uh, you know, a step. And the middle dantian, you need to involve in that too. And then the lower dantian and, and the source metal. So one by one, you need to light three engines. Where are the three engines? The tongue and then the, the shoulder brake inside. Uh, the diaphragm, the and so forth, and then the uh, diaphragm, and the, uh, the and then the uh, last one is the source muscle, uh, uh, in the uh, L uh, one to five there, and then to the femur bone. The source, th those need to turn. Those three engines you need to turn, so that provide the power to for you to bend and up and down. So to the powers, and then of course the release absorb. The breath controls it. So release absorb. You so you you cannot say without the release absorb, uh, you, you cannot do a proper bend body arch back, unless you already train to use your breath to do it. Uh, without the breath, you cannot do it. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, 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 so at the center, the bent body archway, it is uh, for beginners. Now you're an advanced student, you must use the breath, use the, uh, the muscles inside to do it. And of course, uh, okay, so, uh, uh, so three down tens, and the key is, when you absorb release, you always start with your, your coccyx there, always start from here. You burn up and down from here, down instead of just thinking the hands, do not just think your hands. Think uh, uh, the coccyx, and so so coccyx is bend and then up. Especially those people doing a lot of uh, bend, uh, body and mind with uh, the Jinan Qigong. And then immediately people thought, well, the neck, uh, neck uh, vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, uh, lumbar vertebrae, uh, it won't work because then, because you, uh, as soon as you think it, it's gone. So you need to think in the back uh, and so forth. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, for 
uh, for the uh, body and mind when we teach with we so why we teach the neck vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, and then the lumbar vertebrae. But in practice, in high level, you need to start from lumbar vertebrae and then walk up, and then eventually they all come together. Uh, yeah, when you think your hand because your hands go forward, so you're aware of your hand hands while you're using the lower dantian to do it. So it's all together. But now I hope that here when you listen to it is your advanced student that you won't go further and that's why it's so important using the tape release absorb this is the rhythm and then you start to turning and then with other programs such as the tongue the the, the middle dantian lower dantian all together and then you can uh, master this movement all right and uh, thank you very much as the essence of that love yourself love others love nature the world is beautiful because of you. Chi within you, chi within me. We all <laughs> one big wonders. And I love you from Yangso. Thank you.